Hey, welcome to Polish with Ray. I'm Rachel and today I'm going to be sharing with you some polishes inspired by summer color trends for 2023. Before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see or curious to see what kind of colors are trending this season. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that too. I upload new nail polish videos every week. So for this video, I took inspiration from the Pantone colors for spring and summer for 2023, specifically the ones inspired by New York Fashion Week. Each year, Pantone releases two um, colors for the seasons, um, a New York Fashion Week inspired one and a London Fashion Week. I'm doing the New York one since I am in the United States. So I looked at the spring summer palette and was so inspired. I'll pop them up here. The colors for this season are just so vibrant, gorgeous reds, that pink, the orange, the yellow, the gorgeous greens, and even the neutrals. I felt like this color palette was really cohesive and were truly colors that I would enjoy wearing. So this is actually a collaboration video with one of my good friends, Carolina from Gotta Love Polish. If you haven't checked out her channel, where have you been? <laughs> um, I really enjoy her content. She's super enthusiastic about nail polish and she's got a gorgeous collection. I'll link her video and her channel down in the description box. But we've done this collaboration for past seasons before if you haven't seen those videos. I will also link them up in a playlist in the eye. So what Carolina and I did is we looked at this palette, we each individually picked out some shades that were inspiring to us this season, and a few polish picks for each color. So we're going to be taking a look at the five polishes that I picked out from this palette to wear for the summer, or to kind of be inspired by for this summer season. And we're going to take a look at swatch photos and kind of get a mini review on each polish. I had a really hard time selecting only five colors from this palette because like I said, the shades are all gorgeous. It made me realize too, I don't have that many um, vibrant green, like summer greens in this, these shades. I really wanted to pick those colors, but unfortunately I don't really have much of that in my collection. So if you have recommendations for those greens, let me know down in the comments because I want them on my nails this summer for sure. <laughs> The first color I was inspired by was the gorgeous red in this palette called Fiery Red. To me, it's not your traditional summer cherry Americana red. There's something that's a little bit dark to it and I think that means it would transition so well into the fall season. So I picked a mainstream slash boutique pick for each color and an indie pick for each color too. The mainstream polish that I picked for the Fiery Red shade is a new release from Orally called Oh Darling. This one actually released in this year's spring collection for 2023, and I think it is a really great match for that Fiery Red color. It's got um, a red base, but it's just a little bit dusty and a little bit darker than most reds. I almost wonder if Orly was inspired by this Pantone color list. I know a lot of mainstream brands are actually inspired by the Pantone colors of each season, so I'd be curious to know. But this polish was absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. When it released, I wasn't super excited about it because to me, it's not one that I would gravitate towards in spring. I don't usually wear red in spring, but for summer, oh my goodness, perfection. It was fully opaque in two coats. It had a formula that can't be beat. And I just thought the base color for this was incredibly flattering. And then my indie pick for Fiery Red was one from Bluebird Lacquer called Spice Spice Baby. This released in January of 2021's Polish Pickup Shop. And it is in the shattered holographic finish from Bluebird Lacquer. It's a deep red, but not too deep. I think, again, it's a really good or close match for that fiery red shade. This polish is incredible. <laughs> um, if you haven't tried Bluebird Lacquer Shattered Holographics, you're seriously missing out. I recommend them in every single color, but this red is divine. It was fully opaque in two coats, almost a one coater, and the holographic pigment in here just sparkles and glows against that red base. Seriously, this one is stunning. I hope it makes a return eventually and rewind. I know probably a shattered hollow of some kind is going to come back for the July polish pickup rewind, but I don't know if it's going to be this one. Fingers crossed though. The next shade that I was inspired by is the gorgeous vibrant orange. 
I really enjoy wearing orange in the summertime, but it's just one of those colors I feel like I don't wear often enough. So I was excited to see it on this color palette. Hopefully that will inspire me to get it on my nails a little bit more this season. So my mainstream boutique pick for this shade is one from Olive Av Polish called Pumpkin. This one is a light orange cream shade. It's not light enough to be considered a pastel in my opinion, but it is definitely lighter than a lot of oranges I wear in the summertime. Pumpkin had a beautiful formula. I think at the time of swatching it, it did take me two coats, but I wouldn't be super surprised to see some people needing three with this shade. And I thought it was a pretty great color match for that gorgeous orange on this Pantone color palette. Really beautiful shade. Again, one that I hope to get on my nails a little bit more this summer. And then my indie pick for the orange was one from Music City Beauty called I'm So Jelly. This one released in August of 2022's Polish Pickup Shop. I'm So Jelly has a little bit more of a saturated orange base and it is packed with gorgeous gold to green shifting shimmer, I think, and holographic flakes. When this released, I remember absolutely loving it. It is the perfect mid-toned orange. In my opinion, the gold and green shimmer just complements it beautifully and throw some hollow in there. I mean, I'm sold. <laughs> I'll also say that Music City Beauty polishes are really amazing. I don't feel like I hear them talked about often enough, but they always have a great formula. They're a little bit on the thicker side, but because of that, they are most of the time opaque for me in three coats. This one was no exception. I was also really inspired by the gorgeous yellow in this color palette. It wasn't your typical bright school bus yellow. Like when I saw it at first and tried to pull some yellow polishes from my collection, a lot of them leaned to orange. This one is a bright, truly primary yellow. So the boutique shade that I picked for this color is a collaboration shade with Kelly Marissa from Starly and it's called Luminous. Luminous has a beautiful yellow base and it is packed with linear holographic. It's got shifting shimmer that shifts red to gold to green. Oh my goodness, Starly needs more of this finish. I loved this polish. And usually hol holographic, I prefer it in flaky form, scattered form, not usually linear, although you know there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't usually get excited about it. This one is worth getting excited about. It just looked beautiful on the nails, especially with the shimmer, it glowed. Really great formula on this one too. It was a two to three coater. And then my indie pick for this shade is one from Caloris de Carol. It's called Spark. This released a few years ago with a neon summer collection. Sorry, it re-released a few years ago with a neon um, jelly summer collection and originally released quite a few years ago. It has a primary yellow jelly base and gorgeous iridescent flakes that shift gold to green to blue. This one was slightly sheer. I still had a little bit of nail line in three coats as any yellow jelly tends to do, but the finished product was gorgeous. In my opinion, it would be worth layering over a yellow cream or even a blurring base coat of some kind to get full opacity because those flakes are just so, so fantastic in this bright, beautiful yellow base. And I was surprised that I loved this one as much as I did. It is just such a simple polish with the yellow jelly base and then the flakies. Usually, you know, I like something extra, some shimmer, some hollow, but the flakies, they really, you know, stand for themselves. <laughs> um, they are so gorgeous in the base. You all already know I was loving the pink in this color palette. I can't resist a gorgeous pink. It's Barbie era apparently, and I'm living for it. I'm all about it. <laughs> so the mainstream boutique pick that I chose for this one was another Starly. This one is high maintenance. I would describe this as having a saturated pink base with holographic micro glitters. This one's maybe a little bit more berry leaning. At least it appears to be in the bottle than the Pantone color. Color, but again, I just kind of use those Pantone colors as inspiration. Even if it's not a perfect match, it is very close. Um, but this was one that I wore this year around Valentine's Day, I think, and oh my goodness, I was in love. Also, if you hear baby sound, she is hanging out with me, so that's what you hear. <laughs> Um, but this was fantastic. It had a jelly base, but because it was so packed with holographic glitter, it built up to opacity in two coats. It was really difficult to remove, but worth 
worth every, every extra minute it took um, to get all the glitter off my nails was worth it because it was so beautiful. I'll tell you what, um, Starly's specialty finish, their creams are great too, but their specialty finishes are amazing. I want them to have a sale because I'm gonna stock up. <laughs> And then the indie pick that I chose for this gorgeous pink is one from Nailed It Nail Polish. It's called Kiss of Death. This released in the Mortal Kombat Phantom Flakies box, I think last year. It has a vibrant, bright pink face, of course, and it is jam packed with flakes. It's got flakes that shift pink to gold to green. I see purple in there, I see blue, and they are just, man, there's a lot of flakes in here. So I'm a fan of all nailed it polishes their shimmers amazing their flakies even more amazing they somehow manage to jam pack their polishes all while not making them incredibly difficult to build up they don't take super long to dry down um, and you reach opacity pretty quickly i think this one i did build up to three coats but i probably could have left it at two yeah, you can just kind of even see in the bottle here all of those gorgeous flakes how they glow oh my goodness <sighs> I will never not love Nailed It's Flakies. They're amazing. And the last color I was inspired by is kind of neutral. It's that pretty army-ish green shade. The mainstream pick I selected for this one was one from China Glaze that released last summer called Olive to Roar. This one has an army green base and to everyone's surprise after it released last year, it has a textured finish. A lot of people call this a dill pickle polish. Never did I imagine I would be talking about this polish again on my channel unless um, it was to talk about weird polishes in my collection, but hey, it fit this army green color just perfectly. It definitely had a weird finish. It was kind of, you know, <laughs> I don't know still really how I feel about this polish, but um, it is a trending color for this season. So if I'm in a funky mood, I might reach for this. And the indie pick for that green color is this Stella Chroma called Crikey. This one released in Polish Pickup in February of 2022. It has a really pretty, slightly lighter army green base and lots of metallic flakies in, oh man, are they emerald green or are they like turquoise? I can't tell, copper and gold. Stella Chroma polishes are some of my absolute favorite. Her formulas are amazing, her brush is amazing. Unfortunately, this isn't available anymore. Anymore, but I will link all the polishes that are down in the description box as well as the maker's site so you can shop. Um, but this one had a great formula. It was fully opaque for me in three coats, but really easy to build up, super shiny. Those flakes came off with ease and didn't dry down with any texture. So yeah, I loved the shade too. So those are all of the polishes that I picked out for this year's Pantone 2023 summer palette. Let me know down in the comments if you were inspired by this palette. Do you like these colors together? Do you plan to wear them this summer? Personally, I've already picked out my summer rack. I'm looking at it. It's a lot of polishes. Um, and I do see some of the colors represented in my rack, so I'm excited to be reaching for those. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Carolina's video. I can't wait to see what colors she picked. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!